So let's look at the following example in which we're going to use the first law of thermodynamics. Suppose two moles of an ideal monatomic gas expands adiabatically doing 8,000 joules of work on the surroundings. Calculate the change in temperature of our adiabatic expansion. So our volume increases and our ideal gas system does work on the surroundings as shown. And our expansion is adiabatic. So, let's begin by recalling the first law of thermodynamics, which states that the change in internal energy of our ideal gaseous system is equal to the amount of energy transferred as a result of heat plus the amount of work done on our gaseous system. Now, in this case, because we're dealing with an adiabatic expansion, the Q is zero. There is no heat transfer. So that means our equation becomes as follows. The change in internal energy of our ideal monatomic gaseous system is equal to the work done. Now, in this case, the internal energy lost by the system is gained by the surroundings through work done by the system on the surroundings. So there is a decrease in the internal energy of our system and that decrease in energy goes into increasing the energy of our surroundings. So the change in E is equal to the work. Now, because we're dealing with an ideal monatomic gas, that implies that the change in internal energy of our system is equal to the product of 3 multiplied by n, the number of moles multiplied by r, the universal gas constant, multiplied by the change in our T divided by 2. And by this equation, this is equal to the work. So because we are told that our expansion does 8,000 joules of work on the surroundings, our work is equal to 8,000 joules. So 8,000 joules is equal to 3 multiplied by n multiplied by r multiplied by change in t divided by 2. So we essentially rearrange our equation and we plug in our known. So we solve for the change in t. The change in t is equal to 2 multiplied by 8,000 joules divided by the number of moles multiplied by 3. Number of moles is 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by the gas constant 8.314 joules per mole times Kelvin. The joules cancel, the moles cancel, and we're left with approximately 320 Kelvins. Now, does the temperature of our system increase or decrease? Well, earlier we said that our expansion, our system does 8,000 joules of work on the surrounding. So that implies that because the surrounding increases by 8,000 joules, that means the system decreases by that same amount. So the internal energy decreases and it decreases by a temperature of 320 kelvins.